All right, we're gonna bleed the brakes. What you need, clear piece of tube. Um, it's gonna fit over your brake bleeder. I don't, actually don't know what size this is. You should have to get the size that fits your bleeder. Um, I got this at Home Depot. Got a bunch of different sizes to make sure. This is the size that it worked for me. Then you want a clear bottle. I put a hole in the top so it all stays in there. The fluid's gonna come out of here, come into here, and then you wanna make sure the bottom of that is um, stays in the fluid so it doesn't suck air back in. Um, so we're gonna power bleed. You can also just pump the brakes, but I like to power bleed because you don't need two people and it's maybe better. So I just found an old uh, brake fluid cap. These are somewhat universal. I got this at the junkyard. Um, and then I just drilled a hole in it, epoxied um, air compressor fitting onto here. So we'll just put that on there, pop on the air, and that'll push air through the brake lines. Um, so to start, we're gonna top off our brake fluid reservoir. Oh, I have a funnel. Okay, brake fluid's pretty corrosive, so try not to spill. Top this off. And then, so air compressor, I've had it on, so I built up pressure. We're at, I don't know, 130, 120 psi. Set your, set your uh, outflow pressure to, I don't know, 20, like 10, 15, 20. Mine leaks a little bit around the cap, so I go a little bit more like 20. Put this guy in here. And then when you're bleeding brakes, you want to start from the start at the wheel furthest from the reservoir. So this is driver's side front, so we're gonna go passenger side rear. So if you see in here, see right there that little shiny part, that's your oh this is dessert. It's your brake fluid bleeder valve. So, put this hose on here. I think it's the right one. It's kind of hard to get the hose on. Uh, you want it to be really tight though. The hose over the bleeder valve. You don't want any air getting in there. Oh, man. You can jack your car up to do this. You can take your wheels off. That's on how easy you want it to be on yourself. <laughs> That's just too easy. I like to spend twice the time struggling at this. Put the wheel on. <laughs> you can leave your bottle here, but I got Ezekiel. He's gonna hold it for me. Hold it flat, make sure that fluid stays in there. We've got this, air it up like 20 psi, pop this hose on here. Okay. Uh, I think it's a seven. I think mine's a seven millimeter. I'm just gonna tell you a little seven. Open ended, let's see. Yep, mine is a seven. Seven millimeter. So I'm just loosening a little nut on here, the back of the rotor. Well, this is actually after you loosen it a little bit, should you crack it. See a little fluid starting to come out. All right, Ezekiel, I'm gonna turn the pressure on. Crack a little bit. Got this hooked up to here. I'm gonna turn that, turn this on. Yeah, about 
16, 17 pounds. It leaks out of there a little bit. That's all right. Coming out. Not really. Not really, not yet. Maybe, maybe it needs more pressure. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pump the brakes also. Might not be sealing on there very well. Just make sure that this is at the bottom of this bottle. Okay, so when brake fluid starts to go in there, so hold it like right there. Brake fluid starts to go in there. Coming out now? Huh, and I opened it up enough? one off of here. I think this one's good. Let it drain into your bottle. Give me a little seven millimeter. Alright. Oh, this one was leaking out. Huh. Wonder if that wasn't tight enough. Or if that comes from my my wheel cylinder. Well, that could be my problem. Yeah, because that's coming from inside the wheel. Or inside the drum. Inside the hub. It's not coming from the bleeder valve. So, I'm assuming that with that pressure, it just pushed it out there. It shouldn't, it shouldn't push out anywhere, except for where we opened up the bleeder valve. Well, you don't need to keep bleeding the brakes if you found it leaking somewhere. That's why it's nice to pressurize your brake, brake lines to see if it leaks anywhere. That's probably why it wasn't coming out very much pressure over there either, because it was releasing it out of here. Turn this up. Definitely air coming out of there. You can see all those bubbles. All right, I'm gonna put a little pressure. I wanna make sure your brake fluid stays full so you don't push air in. Let me kick this thing up. All right, 20. It's coming out. Yeah, so there's, you see there's some air bubbles in there here. Try to go for a little bit. I'm gonna put this hose on it. Pretty much you do that to this one, then you do it to that one, and then you've bled all of them. I don't need to go through them. Um, for the driver's side, turn it to the driver's side wheel. And then, yeah, make sure your fluid's topped up. Go through with the compressor and turn it on and Pressurize it, and that's how you bleed the brakes. Like and subscribe. You.